In this video, we will continue to talk about materials in Corona for Cinema 4D. In the previous video, we explored uh, the part concerning the textures and PBR materials, which means physically based render materials, which are composed by a series of textures that are going to give you a more realistic look to your object inside the scene. So we saw how we can use uh, sex textures for one single placement. So let's call it a one-time texture that you cannot repeat. And then we also saw how we can use textures that can be repeated many, many times. And we can scale and use the tiling to cover large surfaces like pavements and so on. We also saw different layers like the sheet effect in the material. Now in this video we're gonna see some additional effects that we can apply to our material. We also talk a little bit about the transparency and translucency and how we can achieve this kind of uh, middle way between something 100% uh, transparent and something 100% opaque. And we also will investigate more the difference between roughness and glossiness. We already said that we have these two types of options. So we either work with the glossiness, so decide how shiny the, mater the material is, or we use the roughness. And roughness is basically the opposite. So it's all about how the material is going to react to a light. So when a material is hit by a light, it's going to behave in a particular way physically. This is why also they're called physically based render. Now you can see that there are many types of translucency or transparency. You can use the refraction, you can use the subsurface scattering, you can use a transparent layer, and you can also use another layer or effect which is called opacity. And we will also uh, add to this topic by talking about the opacity and the alpha channel. But first, let's have a look to the subsurface scattering. Now, subsurface scattering means that the light is going to hit the surface and part of this light will be uh, bounced back and the other will go underneath the layer, the first layer of your object is going to go underneath the surface. So this is why it's called subsurface. And then it's going to scatter inside. With the roughness, the light is scattered on the surface. With the glossiness, it's um, given back to you in a concentrated fashion. And then we have this other effect that we already talked about, which is the bump but we're going to add another topic, which is going to be the displacement. Now, bump and displacement usually use the same texture, but for the bump, it's going to be a fake 3D effect. For the displacement, it's going to be a real 3D effect. You can actually see the parts of a material being extruded from the object when you use displacement. You can tell, especially by the edges of the object, there we're going to be more evident. But displacement is a heavier effect than the bump. So this is why bump also is very important. Now, opacity and alpha channel. Again, it's just another way to decide where the material will be totally transparent if it's black or totally opaque if it's white or something in between if it's gray. So it's another way to define the, let's say, presence or absence of the object. So if the light doesn't find anything, will go through, and that's going to be a transparent object or a, let's say, an absent object or an absent material. If the light is uh, blocked, that's going to be the white part of the alpha channel, and that's where the material will be present, will be actually visible. So think about the alpha channel, which is going to be this white and black or black and white image. Think about it as a mask. So it's going to mask 
and it's going to show you only the parts that are in the white spots, in the white areas. All the black areas will be hidden, will be masked out from the result of the material. And this is another really important effect to simulate something that's going to uh, be really heavy to render if you need to model. For example, if you create a tree or a leaf, you can uh, model the actual, or you can do here a uh, perforated metal sheet or perf perforated metal panel. You can do that with a boolean. You can do you can do a model. You can model that in 3D, the leaf, the the tree, the the, the panel. But that's gonna be really heavy to render instead of a single image with a single alpha channel applied. And also you you can find another term which is called cutout, and this could be used to insert again trees or people in 2D in this case. So it's kind of a silhouette, it's kind of a uh, let's say 2D panel that's gonna simulate a person inside the scene or a tree or anything else. Kind of a photo montage, but this is gonna keep the scene a little bit lighter than the usual. If you start to bring in a lot of 3D models of people and trees and vegetation and uh, really um, complex stuff, that's gonna slow down your render a lot. So you can also search for cutout texture. In this case you will find tileable textures. Again, we, we made this um, distinction between um, the one single placement texture, the ones that you can place just once, and the textures that are tileable, that you can repeat many many times, and this is the same thing. So in this case, if you search for cutout textures, you can find these motifs or patterns or alpha channels that you can repeat many, many times to create, for example, wires or uh, nets and uh, panels, metal panels and so on. So let's get back here inside our scene and let's start working with uh, some objects inside the scene. So the first thing here, I want to show you how you can use a nice translucent effect. I'm going to look for a lamp in my asset browser in Cinema 4D and I'm going to download and insert a simple lamp from the library that we can use to test a little bit of translucency. Now, translucent effects are really nice when you use them in combination with the light. They're gonna give you that really nice um, warm feeling of a lamp. So I'm gonna place the lamp here on this uh, next to the bed on this uh, plane right there and we are going to we need to create the material here. I'm gonna scale it down a little bit. I'm gonna hold control and move it to copy and make two copies. Now you can see that in this model you already have the light inside the object. Now remember that this will be, you can see here in the object uh, panel, you will find here all the little pieces and you have the light which is not a corona light but is 